Alright, so welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we continue from where we left the other time. So, in a previous tutorial, we saw how to use Git and DVC to be able to keep track of our source code, our data, and our model. Now, let's see a simple approach using FastDS. So, FastDS is a Python library created by the DaxApp team that allows you to be able to combine both Git and then DVC together in one simplified workflow to keep track of your data, your models and your different data sets as well as your source code right so we already know that we we track our code the different versions of our code using git and we push it to github we track the different versions of our data our model using dvc and push it to any of these storage systems together with the dax app now let's see how to simplify that using fastdx so i'll go back to my workspace in case you don't have it, it just do install it with pip install dax or fast there's also DAX app package that can also install, but let's go with FastDS. That is how to install it on your system, right? Perfect. So after installing, just go, can check it out with FastDS help FDS for short, and then with FastDS, this is a simple workflow, right? So you, first of all, you initialize your project, which is the same thing you'd have done in case you were working here. You'd have done get in it, DVC in it, right? So the same thing. So you just go with FDS in it. It's going to do the two of them together. FDS status is going to do both the DVC and the Git. FDS add to both add dev to DVC and Git and commit right. So this is a simple workflow. So in case you forget anything, just follow this approach. So let's go back again to my workspace. Here, let's make some changes to my data. So cd into my or let's use IPython. So IPython and let's make some simple changes to the data set right. And then you try and push it to our repository here right very simple so let's check it out so i'm going to import pandas as pd and then we're also going to be importing it just to do some simple modification right so we'll be also using it functions right so now it test dot functions then let's read my data set now paste in my data so my data so it's going to inside my data folder i have my data set that's what you want to try and work on right perfect right so now we want to create a new column so let's create a new column called clean title then we'll be using need test to make some modifications so my title column dot apply and i want to remove all the different stop so lambda s nfs dot remove stop words now passing my s so now it's going to clean it perfectly for us if i go back and i check it out dot head and now it has made some cleaning for us right so now let's push this one to get up so df dot columns we want to make sure that we make it well i don't want this so i'll take it off so i'm just going to take this one up to here and then I'm going to save it. So df. So let's save it dot to CSV. Let's go as my inside my data folder. My data set. I hope hopefully it's the same thing, yeah. Then let's specify that okay. Index is called default. We don't want any indexing. So I'm going to save it. So now we have to save it. We have made some simple modification. How do we keep track of what you are going to be doing? So the same location that we have. Perfect. We use fast DS to keep track of our data and our model and the rest, right? Very simple. So it's going to be my first one is initialize. So FDS in it to initialize the project in case you have not initialized the project going to both initialize for the DVC and then for the Git, right? Because I have already done it already, it's going to do this and this. It's going to say that it's already been done. So Git already initialized, DVC already initialized, and the colors are different. Now, the next thing is status. So FDS, status to see for the changes. You can just follow the same approach. Init, status, add. And as you could see, it's going to give you the option for the Git. So for the Git, it is up to date. And for the data set, some modifications have been made. 
perfect so the next thing you need to add so fds add dot right so it's going to add the two of them for us said so nothing to add in dvc right so the reason is that that's track the modification but in case you want to be specific and just go with dvc you add your data set again it's still going to do the same thing in case you want to be sure that it has been done you can just go with dvc add right to do that again then the final thing is commit right so, so it's checking adding that's added right so the next thing you need to do is to go with my dvc commit so right so that is it so the final thing is commit so fdc first data then i just go with commit you can just give it a name so we are committing data version i think version 3 or something as you see it has successfully committed dvc and it has committed to git the final thing is push to fds i've been saying fdc but it's fds right apologies for the way i've been pronouncing it and then push right then push it's going to push it so it's going to ask you for your credentials right because of the setup you did previously i'm going to ask you for the location of the place you want to put it together with your password you can also use ssh to help you with this particular approach so now i'm going to ask for my name and then the password so it's now successfully pushed to get remote right that is how to do that so that is all so you can also go to ask for the password again and as you can see it is just push them there perfect so that is how to work with this so it's very simple init fds init fds status fds add fds commit svs push it does both of them for you right okay so now if i go back and i check it out here you can see that now that data set has been pushed here right don't worry about the time <laughs> my time is totally different from your own so thank you for watching this tutorial so in case you have any question or contribution you can put it in the comment section below so fast ds simplifies your workflow by allowing you to use both git and dvs or data version control dvc <laughs> to track your code your model and then your data assets right and then to be able to push it to any particular repository special specifically taxa so thank you for watching see you another time let's see whether it has come yeah it has come you can see that the changes have been made perfect and let's see whether there was something different here you can see the pipeline also so thank you for watching see you